Dr. Mark Jankese here with your science moment. There is a common argument that folks have. They say, um, and I've argued against this you know, three years ago at least, been arguing over and over again. Um, the main problem uh, concerning free expression is not the Fed censoring us, which is, of course, that's a huge problem. The biggest problem of all is uh, tolerance generally in, in the population. Um, if it's the case that every private company is happy and willing and um, er agitating to uh, censor those with particular viewpoints, um, you're not going to be living in a world that is has free expression at all. Now, there's been a kind of argument that folks have been having concerning the feds censoring us, and the argument um, is is approximately this: is like, well, look, look, the feds may have been talking to Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and 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 so forth. The feds may have been talking to them and coordinating with them and and asking them to censor certain kinds of things. But you know, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and and these companies uh, might well have been inclined to censor those folks anyhow, in which case it's not uh, protected speech, uh, which again, I've argued that there's a case for why that ought to be illegal as well. But let's set that aside. Um, now, that kind of argument, look, they were inclined, that private company, that big tech uh, uh, public accommodation, um, was inclined to censor you anyhow, independent of whether we talk to them threatened them, twisted their arm. Um, now, the problem with that kind of argument is that, and, and before I say the argument, let me, I want you just to notice something. Um, for the first time in, in, in my lifetime, uh, I'm 55, uh, the, the, the federal government has been trying to censor us, really for the first time, in a, in a really aggressive fashion. And it's not just that they've been doing this secretly under the table, sneaking around saying, hey, let's go see if we can get them to censor those people. Right? Uh, yeah, they've been certainly behind, uh, you know, back channel uh, conversations of that sort. But the amazing thing is, they this wasn't just back channel stuff. They came on television as of 2022, April, telling us that they're going to censor us. Um, every day on NPR, if you listen, they, they would be screaming that there's not enough censorship on YouTube and Facebook and so forth. Um, the populace was demanding more and more censorship of misinformation for the purposes of saving us from COVID and that kind of, kind of thing, right? Um, and so, and, and the federal government was out there proudly saying, here's all of these misinformation programs and fact checking that has to be done. And, you know, heads of state were saying that one of the biggest threats to democracy today is an excessive amount of free expression, right? So this is not some kind of behind the scenes uh, mustache twiddling folks who really um, are trying to sneak around and force uh, uh, the public accommodations, force uh, big tech social media and public square companies, so to speak, to censor. They're coming out and telling us that they feel justified and that it's the right thing to do. So my claim is that for the most part, when governments come out and try to censor us, which is what the First Amendment really protects us from, it's going to be disproportionately the case that when federal governments come out and want to censor us top down, it's because there's already tremendous support bottom up. This is what's giving them both the push to do that and the uh, backing and the backbone to actually do that, right? The cases where the federal government are going to come out and aggressively censor us are going to exactly be the cases where the populace is ready to censor us. And so exactly in those cases, they can always say, well, yeah, they were inclined to censor you anyway, so it doesn't count as a First Amendment violation. Now, they may have, in fact, twisted their arm, and it, but it is still true that they potentially were inclined because a lot of the populace was, in fact, inclined to censor us, right? So the problem with that argument is that if you take that as an argument that defends the federal government and says, okay, that's fine for the federal government, you can twist arms all you want and talk and, you know, and have conversations, coordinate, but it doesn't count as, as uh, violating the First Amendment. Well, the problem is they're only going to be doing that. They will only tend to be doing that when these big tech companies and other private companies are potentially, arguably, inclined to censor you, which, which then completely undermines the point of the First Amendment because they um, are always going to have cover. Um, that was your science moment. Wanted to quickly uh, get you up to speed on our case, our First Amendment case, uh, with Daniel Kotzen and Michael Sanger and myself with the um, NCLA, New Civil Liberties Alliance, which started back in 2022, early 2022. Um, we were several months ahead of the um, Murthy case, which made it to the Supreme Court. 
we got uh, pushed, we got uh, rejected, said they have, we have no standing, and the standing kinds of arguments means that, well, there's no evidence that um, if they don't rule, that will be continued, that they will continue to be censoring us, that kind of um, argument. Now, uh, we appealed, and the appeal just sort of mostly sat there, um, it's a little bit more complicated than that, until the Supreme Court decision about Murthy came down and said that they had no standing either, in which case uh, our cert, which we had done a cert, uh, was rejected. So our case is now completely done uh, and done for, and, and, and rejected for the same reasons this is our, that our cousin case was rejected. That is, we have no standing. It comes down to, in some sense, oh, well, we didn't really censor you, or we're, there's no threat of continuing censorship per se, of you, Mark, Dan, and Michael, because um, we're just censoring everybody. That's one way that I like to summarize it. And that was your science moment.